Today I'm going to be doing basically a review of what it was like to buy a sports car from Carvana. Um, so I've had this car for about two months and this video can also kind of be like a Carvana review slash two month review of the car I got, right? So, so I went ahead and broke it down into three sections and first is going to be, I have it all right here, but first is going to be buying experience, right? Second one's gonna be delivery experience, and then third is gonna be owning experience. So, I bought this car about two months ago, and one word I could think of that could pretty much describe the, the buying experience is, it's simple. When you go on the website, or you download the app, and you're on there, and you're searching for a car, and you're, you know, if you don't know what car you want, they can help you. If you know what car you want, you can find whichever car you want. Um, now, the reason why I think this review is going to be a bit different is because I bought a sports car from them. So, obviously, when you're buying, you know, just, a, I wouldn't call it a regular car, but if you're buying a regular car from them, right, um, for, for one, I'll tell you right now, you're going to have an easier chance of getting a car and finding a car because... The options on there are vast, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna go buy a Ford Focus, you're gonna find tons of fucking Ford Focuses. And tons of them that are gonna be already being in the process of being bought. And then tons where they're not in the process of being bought. Oh, there's a cop coming. So, when that being said, when you're buying a sports car, it's a lot different. Simply because they get bought so fast. Hold on one second, there's actually a cop. So when you're buying a sports car, the process is, it's its not harder, it, I wouldn't say it's, it's worse, it's just different, it's more tedious because when I found this car, right, this is a, a Corvette obviously, um, when I found this car, well first when, when I went in to type in Corvette, right, so I type in Corvette, I put the parameters of what year I wanted and um, if I want to be automatic and manual, I just put both. You can do all of that, right? You can set the price ranges and the year ranges, uh, mileage, you know, it, it's so much you can set on there. And, um, but basically a list came up with about 15 Corvettes, right? Some older, some older than this one, some newer than this one, some around the same year, basically, or I would say same generation model, right? And, um, so when I'm on there, you know, and I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching, you're going to see something on there called purchase pending, right? And, um... When you see purchase pending, that means that someone is in the process of buying that vehicle, which means that you as a viewer, as a customer that's on the website or the app, you cannot purchase that vehicle while that message or that little icon is there. You can't because someone has basically already reserved that vehicle. And I don't have a, a recording of this, but if you ever um, go on there and you get in the process of purchasing a vehicle, you're gonna enter all your information, you know, your address, your name, stuff like that, right? And they're gonna reserve the vehicle for you. She's like staring at the Corvette. <laughs> oh, that's a guy, my bad. He's staring at the Corvette. But back to what I was saying. If you if you start to go in there and play around and you see a vehicle you want, you're gonna notice that Carvana's gonna reserve that vehicle for you for I think like 35, I think it's 40 minutes, 35 minutes, something like that. But basically, for that amount of time that that vehicle is reserved for you, you have that time to complete the process of buying the vehicle, right? So that's why I say the buying experience is just simple because you go in there, you find the car you want, you fucking click on it, you start entering information, and then as soon as you enter information, boom, they reserve it. And now you have the whole entire time to enter all your bank information, your payment stuff, your this, your that, your this, your that, and it's done. When I found this Corvette, um, I got lucky because it was like in the middle of the afternoon, every other Corvette on there, there was like 15 to 20 other Corvettes on there. 
every other Corvette on there said purchase pending. This one that they posted, the one I'm in now, they had posted it around the, uh, that morning, right? And we're talking 2 p.m. I got lucky because all the other ones were gone already and this one was just getting posted. So I basically got lucky. Um, I saw this car. As soon as I saw it, I fucking started buying it. I went through the buying process and they reserved it. I bought this car in 15 minutes. It took me 15 minutes to, to answer my information and was done. It was already on its way, delivering style. You know what I'm saying? 15 minutes tops. I'm telling you, I was done. I was ready. I was already ready and set. I was like, let's get it. So, um, yeah. So, the buying experience is very, very simple. You go in there. So, just to give you a quick rundown of what it's really like, you're going to go on a website. You're going to find the car. When you find the car, you're going to click on it. They have the 360 view and all that stuff. You can view the vehicle, look at all the information. You can go through all the car backs, all that stuff you want, right? And um, they tell you the whole seven day money back guarantee. They tell you all the warranty stuff. They tell you everything up front. They give you all the information you want, the down payment, all that shit. They tell you everything up front. So basically, you go in there, find a the vehicle, read all this shit, hit click or, or hit buy, whatever the fuck you want to hit. And you go in there, you buy it, done. That's it. One piece of advice I will give is they're gonna give you an option to um, for the payment stuff, right? They're gonna ask you, uh, I forgot what the options were, but the one you wanna actually, I recommend you do is to do your bank um, account or something like that is where you, you're gonna enter in um, your login information. So for instance, I'm with uh, Wells Fargo. So when I go on Wells Fargo, when I went on there, I hit that option to do that and I put in my username and password of my Wells Fargo login and I was able to go into my actual account and click which or go into my actual like um, account summary or whatever and I was able to click which account I wanted to pick to do the down payment you know what I'm saying and it's faster because it's, it's you're logging in so it's all instant it's all instant through the system versus you having to enter in your writing and, and account and writing number and all this other stuff the other options you have um, it, it takes longer to do that. So while I say you have the vehicle reserved, I suggest that you actually um, go about buying the vehicle that way. Just enter your account, pick the account you want, and uh, it, it's instant, it goes from there. Um, but besides that, we're gonna go ahead and get onto the delivery experience. So when you're in the process of buying the vehicle, now you have the option to pick whether you want to um, pick up the vehicle at a what they call a vending machine location. And that's what you see, you know, with the cars that are circled around the thing and they're just coming up and down. They call it a vending machine, right? So you, as a buyer, you can have the option to choose whether you want to go pick your car up from there or you have it delivered to your house. Now, the thing about Carvana is that um, you can buy these cars from wherever the fuck you want to buy them from in the U.S. So if you're, buy if you're in, let's say, um, New York, you can see if there's a location in Houston that's selling the car you want. Now the thing is, it doesn't matter if you can go, you know, test drive and stuff like that because they're gonna send you the car for free and you get to test drive it for seven days. They give you the ability to test, to have the car for seven days. You test drive it, you can take it to a mechanic, you can do whatever the hell you wanna do with this car, right? And um, you basically just test drive it, you can go get it checked out and all of this stuff, right? And it's solid. Everything is motherfucking solid. It's peachy as hell. I actually just want to come look at this real quick. I've never been up here before. But um, it's dope. So I would say, like, you know, when you're buying it, it doesn't really matter. You know, you don't have to have anything ready. You don't have to be trying to pull up to the shit and all of that shit. None of that shit. You don't have to try to get, make it. It's not like a dealership experience where you got to go to the dealership. First of all, plan out when you can go to the dealership. Um, have somebody come with you in case you get the car and they gotta, you know, drive your car home or whatever car home or stuff like that, right? Um, it's very, very simple. So, oh, let me turn around real quick. I just want to look at all of this. So, in that, you know, aspect, um, I think it's dope. You can be sitting at home or sitting on break at work and, you know what I'm saying, like, or you can just be doing whatever, you know what I'm saying, babysitting and then you get on the fucking website of the app and you, you just bought you a car, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how it works. Um, also, with the delivery experience, you get to pick, you know, which date you want to choose with how the car delivered, and they'll get the car ready for you. There's not going to be any check engine lights. There's not going to be any, you know, stuff like that. They'll get the car as ready as motherfucking it needs to be ready. They'll take care of whatever they got to take care of. Like for me, there was no lights and stuff like that on. The mileage was low, so 
all they had to do for me was just put a brand new battery in it and they did that they put a brand new battery in it they brought the motherfucker to my house now one cool thing i will say about delivery experience this is really really cool you can track them the day my car was supposed to be here right the guy who's bringing my vehicle called me said hey we're gonna put a brand new battery in your Corvette and I'm gonna be on the way. I said bet. Hold up the phone. About 30 minutes later, um, I got a little update through the app saying that your vehicle is on the way. And from there, they allow you to track the driver and it's real time tracking. So I think it updates like every five to 10 seconds. So let's say if he's, if I'm sitting right here right now, right? And you're tracking me through satellite, it would show my new spot in about five to 10 seconds, something like that, right? So yeah, it went from there. Hella, hella cool. They bring it to your house. Um, the driver does not leave until you test ride the vehicle or until you're ready to um, say, okay, I want this car or I don't want this car, right? So he doesn't leave. But the guy was there, he unloaded the vehicle off the trailer. Um, I test drove it. He stayed there the entire time. I took it around on the highway and all that. He stayed there. I came back and he, he was still in the same spot. He never, never left. He waited for me to say, I want the car. And he was like, bet. He brings you all the title transfer papers and all the information. You sign up, you do about two signatures and you're done. He gives you all the keys, gives you whatever comes with the car and he leaves in his trailer and he leaves the car there. That is the most surreal experience ever because this guy just dropped off a fucking Corvette at my house and left without it. Crazy, telling me when it happens to you, you're gonna be fucking wild. Like it's gonna be amazing. Um, and that's why I say, the delivery experience is convenient. That's my one word description. It's convenient. It's very, very convenient. They really do right by how they just treat the customer and how they make everything convenient for you. Um, because like I said, you can buy cars from all over and you can live wherever and they'll bring it to you for free. It's very, very convenient. And they give you the seven days money back guarantee. They give you the, they give you a lot. 100 day warranty, all of that. They take care of you for real. Now, now we're gonna get on to owning experience. And my one word description for owning experience, it, it's comfortable. And one of the reason why I say it's comfortable is because it really is comfortable. One second. So, all right, so back to what I was saying. Sorry about that, um, baby was calling. But anyways, owning experience. So, it's fucking comfortable, y'all, for real, for real. Like, I'm telling you, man, they fucking take care of you. Uh, if there's anything wrong with the vehicle when you're in the process of buying it, they send you all of that. If there's like a dent somewhere, if there's a scratch somewhere, they send you all of that. Like, um, if there's something, let's say, uh, that's going on, let's say like if this seat was ripped right here, right? If that was ripped, right? They would, uh, they would still let you buy the car and they would tell you about it. But then they would say, Hey, you have this amount of time to, uh, take the car to a shop and we'll cover it for free. Like hundred percent, nothing. You don't get charged for the diagnostics free, for the quote, none of that shit. You take it to a place and they'll fix it for you. Um, and they'll give you about like a month or two months, you know, depending on what it is. I, you know, it's, it's plenty of things that can happen with the car, but as long as there's no lights on and stuff like that, they will fix the car for you uh, for free and they'll take care of you. Um, they give you a 100 day warranty and there's some cars on there that's gonna be zero down, some cars that they want a down payment. Most cars are gonna have a down payment uh, all the sports cars are gonna want it. They're gonna want a down payment. So come with some guap. Come with some. And the payment stuff, like when you make your payments, they automatically draw it out of your account. Um, um, be expecting to pay three hundred and seventy-five dollars a month for whatever car you get. And I say that because when you go on to the site, right? And I, I, I say website. I'm, I'm using the phrase site a lot because I recommend you use the website over the app before you buy the vehicle. When you're searching and you're looking, I recommend you use the website on a computer. Use it on a computer for sure. Um, and I say that because on my phone, it loads hella slow. It's terrible, trust me. It loads hella slow. And that's not just the Carvana website. That's every single buy a car website when you're buying a car, Auto Trader, whatever the hell it is, it's every single one of them. They always load hella slow on my phone. I don't know why, that's just how it is. Um, use a computer, desktop, PC. Uh, I have not tried a tablet, but I'm pretty sure a tablet will work better than a phone too. So use something else other than a phone. That's another reason why the buying experience is simple because when you're on the computer, everything loads super quick. 
you have that 360 view where you can view the car inside and motherfucking out like you can look at everything on the car man and also with the 360 view they'll have like little uh warning or or, or, or not warning icons but they'll have little icons and if you like, kind of like click on them or something like that um it'll zoom in to where there's some kind of imperfection so let's say there's like a deep scratch somewhere on the car um and you and they have that marked off on there you can click on that and they'll zoom in right to that spot i'll show you what it is right hella hella dope hella hella cool so just a little summary of the video um the buying experience is simple the delivery experience is convenient and the owning experience is very very comfortable um now let's get to the sweet spot with the money shit. so when you go in there and you're buying a car right if you're buying a sports car be expecting to have quite a bit of money down to put down for a down payment because they don't play around with the, car, with the sports cars it doesn't matter how expensive the sports car is let's say if it's thirty thousand my bad let's start with twenty thousand let's say if it's twenty thousand twenty five thousand um let's say if it's fucking you know i don't know it, it could be quite a bit of things 30,000, 45,000, 50,000, 60,000. It really doesn't matter how much the car is. It doesn't matter the number I'm saying. Your payments are going to be 375. That's how they market their shit. So, and let me kind of go in depth with that. So, cause you might be wondering how the fuck is that possible? They have it on there, what they want for their down payment. Cause there's no negotiations with Carvana. They have it on there what they want for the down payment. So if your car is worth, or the car you want is worth thirty thousand, they're gonna have a down payment recommended, or what? Or they're gonna have a down payment posted up there of what you're gonna have to put down for your payments to be three seventy five, right? And it's the same with the car that's worth forty thousand. They're gonna have a down payment on there of what you're gonna have to put down for your payments to still be three seventy five. So if you know what car you want, and I recommend that you do. Don't go to Carvana unless you don't know what car you want. And I'm talking about from a sports car aspect. If you're talking about trucks and, you know, little SUVs like this, things like that, it's a lot easier. You can go in there and not know which fucking SUV you want and you'll be able to find an SUV. And you might be able to find an SUV for zero down because they have cars on it, like I said, for zero down. So trust me, it's hella, hella dope. If you have uh, kind of fucked up credit, or if your credit score is not that high, or if your credit history is, hasn't, you know, not been that long, I also recommend you go with Carvana because they cater to a lot of, you know, credit. Uh, I wouldn't want to, I don't know, what the fuck? Wait, 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 y'all deliver? <gasps> Chick-fil-A delivers over here, bro? Oh, no way. <gasps> bro, son, son. Chick-fil-A can delivers? I'm sorry, we're off track. So, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, if you're going for like an SUV or a sedan, a Nissan Altima, a Ford Focus, a Fusion, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much shit, right? So many like family cars, reliable cars, uh, really good gas mileage cars, trucks, things like that. You have a better chance of finding a vehicle when you're looking for a car like that because there's just so many of them and when they advertise that they have like 30,000 vehicles or whatever the number they put on their website this it's true they have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of vehicles that you can buy from seriously they really really do so i would say if you don't know what car you want carvana is good for you if you do know what car you want carvana is a very 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 good backup because even and i say it's a backup because when you're buying a car that you really, really want, let's say you want a Corvette like this, right? I'm about to get real, real specific. Let's say you want a Corvette like this. Now, you can go to a dealership, get approved with zero down, 500 down, 5,000 down, 2,000 down, 3,000 down. Just, it doesn't matter, you, you can just get approved. But let's say you want the same Corvette for the same price as what they want at the dealership, but they don't want 500 down, 5,000 down, 2,000 down, whatever the fuck down. They want 10,000 down, or they want 12,000 down. They want something more down. They want hard cash. They don't play around with that. So I say Carvana is a very, very, very good backup if you want a car like this, which is a sports car. We're talking V8s. We're talking 392 Chargers, Mustangs, Camaros. We're talking uh, 373 Nismos, GTRs, Lamborghinis. They have it. They have it all. Trust me, they have them all. Um, 
So come with some cash. If you want to cry like this, come with some cash. If you actually want to go through with them because you're going to have to put more money down um, to get a car like this. That's just how it works with them. Which is not bad. You know, follow, solo. It's all a business at the end of the day. It's not bad. That leads on to the reason why I got this car from Carvana. And that's simply because I knew I wanted this car. And how much they wanted down, I already had that money down anyway. I was going to go to wherever I got this car and put the same amount of money down that they actually wanted for this car. So I said, why the fuck would I go to a dealership and worry about getting approved and getting a hard inquiry on my credit history when I can just go with Carvana and they ain't going to do nothing like that hard inquiry shit, not going to do none of that. And I'm going to get approved and get the car and have it delivered to me. I'm going to have seven, you know, seven day money back guarantee. I'm going to have a hundred day warranty. I'm going to have all that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, and it's going to be in good condition. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have all the car facts. They're going to tell you about every single owner that they have, how many miles they put on it, all that. They have it all, all the service records of when it, the oil was changed, when something was replaced. They have it all. They, they literally have it all ready for you. And they give you all the paperwork. It, it's hella, hella dope. Everyone I has, everyone I spoke to on the phone was hella, hella dope. Um, so Carvana is amazing. So last little messages, um, I would say, so I suddenly, I told you uh, what I think about Carvana. I told you what it's like to own this car for two months, basically, for the owning experience part. Um, and basically, I would say to end the video off, Carvana is an amazing company. Um, also, I know how you can go to these websites and they have like payment calculators and stuff like that. Bump all of that, bro. Bump all of that. I'm not saying they're bad. They're cool. But bump all of that. If you know what car you want, go on Carvana, find that car, and look at how much they would want you to put down for how to have for their payments. Now, let's say you go on there, and I and I say that because it's it's more accurate because you're not negotiating with Carvana, so their payment, their monthly payments and their down payments, everything, all the stuff around the payment stuff is more accurate. So let's say you find. Um, a Chevy Cruze. This guy is moving. <laughs> let's say you find a Chevy Cruze on there and they want 5000 Let's say they want 10000 now for a Chevy Cruze, right? And the dealership is also selling a Chevy Cruze, but you don't know how much you have to put down at the dealership. Let's say you go with Carvana. Let's say you're not going to go through Carvana, but let's say you just go on Carvana. You find the same car for around the same price. And you see how much they want down and see how much the payments is going to be. Now you know when you go shopping for the Chevy Cruze that you can keep your down payment around this range, this range, and this range, and you'll be able to pay this much back with this much APR and all of that, all right? So it's a good way to use their system as a calculator for the car you want wherever else you're gonna get it, right? Now I wanna talk a little more specific about what it was like for me to get this car from Carvana. Like I said before, I saw this car, I bought that bitch in 15 minutes, it was done, right? Now, a couple of things that need to be done whenever I got this car. Because they gave me a new battery, all the lights were reset and all the systems and all the sensors were reset on the car. So you got to drive the car, put some miles on it and get that shit basically, um, you know, back into the system, right? With the ECU and all that. So, now the registration and the title wasn't in my name. It's still in the Carvana, right? So, with that being said, I had to basically take the car from them, drive it, put some miles on it. And I was able to bring the car back to Carvana at their, or at their one of their um, locations, their, their vending machine location. They gave me an inspection and gave me a full tank of gas for free. All I did was pull up, say, I'm here for an inspection. She said, bet, can I have the keys? I said, here you go. She went out there, took the car, left with the car, drove it, did whatever she did. By 15, 20 minutes later, she came back. She said, you're all set. Here you go. I had a full tank of gas, everything. And a full tank of gas is the biggest thing that I loved about it because, yo, this is a fucking V8. This is a Corvette. You know what I'm saying? This is the LS3. A lot of gas, a lot of money can be spent on gas for this goddamn car. So anybody who's gonna fill my tank up, by all means, baby, fill it up. Fill it the fuck up. Please, I need it. I ain't broke, but hey, it helps my pockets for sure. You know what I'm saying? So don't mind, don't mind, no, don't mind. Don't, you ain't gotta tell me twice. You tell me to come in for an inspection, you're gonna fill my tank up. I said, shit, when? When? Tell me when. I'll be there earlier than that. So yeah. Um, but that pretty much ends the video, y'all. Um I just wanted to give y'all some quick information about what it was like for me to buy this car from Carvana and what it may be like for you to buy the car from Carvana and what you should expect. Um, overall, the company is great. They'll treat you nice. And I think from pretty much everyone that I know has had a good experience with them. And um, other than that, y'all, 
I really thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all took away with some good information on this video. If y'all have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. And if I know how to answer the question, I'll answer it for you. So in case y'all want to see what the car looks like and all of that, um, I have another video posted on YouTube of me uh, learning how to kind of vlog with my DSLR. And um, in that video, I show off the car a little bit more. Y'all have a blessed day. Have a good day. I wish y'all the best with this coronavirus stuff. It's still crazy out here. And um, good luck with y'all buying experience. Good luck with Carvana. Good luck with finding a car in general. And I wish y'all an amazing day. Goodbye. Have a good one.